Anyways, we are live with stuff. Stuff being a best of seven. The finals of the Elite League monthly finals. A best of seven. $250 for first place, $150 for second. So it's safe to say both these guys are going to walk away with a bit of cash in their pockets. But, uh, of course, we want to see who comes up with a little bit more. So spawning here in the top left corner of the map, it is going to be MVP's blue Protoss player, Young Hua. In the bottom right, Oz, the green Terran. It's Journey. I love Yang Hua's name. Just saying it's fun. Yo! Oh, thank God. I finally actually got to this part, right? So in my Korean textbook, there was like an example of Yang Hua, and it means movie. Now we all know. So his name is Movie? <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I was so excited, right? Because I've been having difficulty, like, you have, like, you have to read Hangul, which is like, you know, I, I don't really know how to read it, like, instantly. So whenever I see something that I recognize, I'm always like, thank God, I'm saying it correctly. So when I saw Yang Hua, I was like, yeah. Yeah. Young Hua! <gasps> yes, I can say this <laughs> oh word. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, there's also like a Bisu example, and I was like, Bisu! Oh, I know how to say that too. Uh, I want to address something else here in chat. I think it's kind of an important thing. Just wait for the game to shape up here since no cheese has gone down. Um, people ask you about replays. Normally, we do hand out replays from base straight TV and tournaments we cast. Some tournaments like to have the replays um, secluded. Some request that they don't be shared. The only league is one of them. Um, and if it means that's the comfort of players actually coming into play because they don't want the replays gone, I'd be more than happy not to share them. So guys, sadly, the only league replays are not shared, not through any means, not publicly, and not through base straight TV. But we do share other replays from other tournaments we cast that do allow us, so you can always keep an eye out on your inbox for that. But anyways, one of the um, interesting things about this, you know, we saw game number one, Journey kind of had a very decisive victory. Uh, I hardly think it was the Widow Mines alone that won in that game. You know, luck, quote unquote. Uh, those shots were amazing, but I still think he would have won that fight even without them. And we have been seeing cooler stuff uh, from Terrans and following all ins. You see that many ACVs pulled, you know, Pro Dust players going to have a bad time. But, um,. Yeah, just doing a little bit of harass for time being a few blocking us out. Reaper on the way, but sadly won't get here in time to snipe that probe. Keep it alive uh, for some scouting, perhaps, as a priority. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yanghua did go ahead and go for this little gas again. So once Jer well, if Jerry gets out of the gas, he's having difficulty doing so. He'd at least have to not worry about shenanigans. King Sejong, pretty good for a proxy Stargate, as there's a lot of places to proxy. Journey going for the same build he did last game. That's uh, that factory. So uh, I feel like I mean mm, it's probably still as good uh, on this map as is on Overgrowth. There's still a lot of drop area in the main, and of course that that ramp is so wide open for the Hellions. Uh, and now it's, it's now it's even maybe better because it is closer by air, natural and natural. Look at this, the definition of a nuisance. And let's just go. We'll get. Uh pushed off as if he had to pull back a little bit but he didn't lose anything for this which is nice uh you guys might wonder why it took so long to get through there it's really important really really important that uh, you don't send two marines in too early if you do they sadly get squashed by mothership core uh as you need three is that sweet spot of a number journey now with plenty of them pushes this back uh while this was going on key thing was the reaper did jump up to the main didn't get a full scout but uh he didn't see you know here and over here are your typical stargate locations and so far he's scouted at least one of them down so not quite positive that's not going to be Oracle, but always something that's going to be on your mind. Just a little bit worried about. Uh, uh, small bit of downtime. We'll give another shout out here. $10 uh, okay. donation from DeWitt. You guys are back. Love to see and follow you guys at IEM. Kane thingy, ZG smile photo, heart. <laughs> Love though that you're back. Oh, that was so fun. Um, I don't know if you were around when we were talking about last night, Zambria, but... That photo album of like our drama that someone posted on Reddit, that has twice the views yeah. of like the same photo album, but with like Flash holding like the trophy and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, drama. <laughs> it's actually a lot of yeah, fun though that us. night at the bar. Okay, so Journey's actually not doing the exact same thing he did last time. He's getting an earlier second barracks, and he did go for Widow Mines. You know, two Widow Mines. As yeah, well I, at first I was thinking this was going to be your standard push. You move with a lot of Marines, you try and bet an overcharge, sometimes with a Marauder, sometimes not. But um, he's gone pretty pretty heavy here with this Assault Force. So my best guess is two Widowmines on the ramp and the rest just the Marines charge forward. I mean, he could alternatively put the Marines inside the Medivac and walk the Widowmines in. But either way, I mean, there's going to be that Photon Overcharge ready to defend. 
It might be full, like, I, it'd be so cool if you follow this up with a, oh, it's not going to, never mind. Um, but, you know, like, abusing that logo on position like we usually see in, say, TVT or even TVZ sometimes, um, you know, on the left near the rocks to get that gas with just a single tank. Because he did it on Overgrowth, which is, uh, I guess, like, also an okay map for that. But this one, you know, is blocked by the rocks, and it's pretty good. I'm surprised he's not going for it, but this might be a little bit surprised when you see this walk up here. One overcharge is used. Does, does barely have another one ready for this meta back. What do I sadly get sniped off? I mean, he got shot off, but I mean, hardly, uh... Anything devastating. This observer in a pretty sick spot at the right moment does get the medevac coming. So Young while chasing with two stalkers uh, is going to, need to turn around and focus perhaps on the main. Overcharge is ready to go here. And there's a cannon down, so detection won't be an issue. Uh, yeah. Journey not really getting much done with this early attack. Last time, obviously a little bit better. This time, held off very nicely by the Protoss player. Stalkers even trying to chase what they can of that marine force from the front. I think they got the Widow Mine and a couple marines. Journey will always have this medevac, but like Yanghua, he's already getting blink. So like if this drop didn't work before, it's probably not gonna work now. Yeah. Uh, he might even go into that same thing he did last time, which is just to get like all the tech on two bases. Uh, overgrowth, very difficult to take a third. If you get a third, you open yourself up in the main and the natural. Uh, King Sejong, a little easier to get a third. Uh, so I'd actually expect him not to be so safe as he did last time. I mean, last time didn't work out because he pulled the SCVs, right? Like that was just... That wasn't a great build because he got like charged before Storm and, and not a lot of Colossus against a pull the boy scenario, but <clears throat> I wonder well, if he thinks that Journey's just gonna do it again. Uh, change up his build a little bit, you know, maybe not transition so fast into the other tech. Well there is that this sort of weird timing that we're getting approached here too. Like, there's a Colossus out. We've sometimes seen you know, Terran players push through that first Colossus and it snowballs pretty hard from there. You know, you don't, you don't always have to pull the SCVs in that late game scenario, but uh, at the moment it is one Colossus. It does not have extended thermal lens. Getting on top of this is not an issue. There's only a couple force fields available, but Journey really doesn't have a huge fighting force here. Now he's going to drop from the back end of this. I love this choice. Distracted the front, drop nice. the back. Blink stock is focused down the medevacs, but Widowmine goes off with quite a few probes. Gets about five of them. Not too bad. I don't know if it's kind of, not, not, not really worth the cost of a medevac, but had that done perhaps a little more, it could have been. Well, he had the medevac out, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about the one medevac he had chased with the uh, army appearance. Oh, right. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, probably not. <clears throat> uh, this probe is going, I don't even know where, um, to Narnia. Place of Proxy Thailand. Very good thing. Yeah, um, Asland was waiting for him up there and. Told him it's not very much for a proxy pylon, it's not anywhere close to the base. What's the point? He was lured out there with Turkish delights by the uh, Ice Queen. <laughs> I thought it was Aslan, it was the Ice Queen. Man, we're, this is like the worst nerd reference. Like, if we reference Harry Potter, at least people would get that, right? How many people have seen fucking Chronicles of Narnia? Drop of the natural! <laughs> this is going on. Uh, does not get much done. Shut down pretty much immediately. Uh, another drop geared up to go to the main, though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe taking his time. Yonghwa is totally on board, though. Like, he, like, uh, he knew that was going to happen. Sends a bunch of his units up top. But I mean, that's the thing about this matchup, right? Especially this map more so. Like, you know your vulnerable spots that are going to be the, like, the temptations for drops, right? And anywhere here in the natural mineral line is like the big, okay, keep an eye on that. But um, perhaps not suspecting the top right. I'm not sure if Journey's waiting for a third or if he wants to dive in. I mean, there's a lot of t very important tech structures up here, but he's got to go now if he wants to get any vulnerable snipes. I mean, getting the armor upgrades, getting the weapon upgrades. The Colossus is already finished, but perhaps he can stop charging the Zealots. Uh, but just sitting up here is not getting anything done. And... If he waits too long, there's actually a pretty good chance Yangwa might accidentally find him. I mean, he should just cancel the third, at the very least. Um, I guess he's, I don't know, you know what, actually, he's going to go ahead and do that with the main army that's moving across the map, and then go into the main with those medevacs. So it's actually not too big of a worry. What is a worry is that, well, it's actually not a lot buffering for these Colossus. If Journey had a more Marauder heavy army, maybe he snipes them. I'll check what things up now, too, though. Good job of the main. Will uh, not uh, get those upgrades. Sadly, will get a chance to complete. Blinkstock is getting in here right away. Uh, gonna do a ton of damage with this. Meanwhile, Quad drops, picks up, goes towards the natural. There's only one cannon here to defend. Colossus are really not too far out. But meanwhile, on the main, he's killed a lot of these stalkers. So, as you said, there's not a lot of buffer. There's not a lot of support, but the Marines are in a terrible choke. Good when my shot goes off here, but there's a lot of zealots moving forward. Charge is not done yet, so he picks up. He gets out of there. Minimal losses for Journey. Oh, ah, yeah, it's, he's just not getting the damage he needs to Young. I mean, he's lost a lot of probes this game, but I mean, honestly, 40 probes. Oh, you know, he did get the third. I forgot about that, though. So he did stop that. He got that. the third. He yeah. killed about three-fourths of the Stalker army. 
like, he killed a lot of stalkers up there. You know, Bio was stem even without Medivax being very good against Spoon stalkers. And I don't think Yongho was even, like, really focusing on blinking them back. Doesn't even clean up these wooden mines now, too. So a lot more probes go down. Even abuses an overcharge, and there's no observer. Well, I think one of the things here, you know, an observer, but there's also no Vikings. I mean, clean up the stalkers is great, but to what avail? The class is still going to be strong. He's up by 60 or 70 supply, but without Vikings, it's still a tough hold. That is. I, oh, I don't disagree. I'm just saying, like, Vikings would have been magnificent to have behind this, but... Uh, using those Widomites, cutting backwards quite nicely. He's got double drops sent over here to the left side, so Yong was going to have to really worry about this natural base. Photon Overcharge has been pre-popped, I guess. Okay, saw that coming. Well, that was the Widomites, so it's about to wear off. Oh, uh, yeah. Again. <laughs> well, refreshes. You can go to the main if you want to. Kill the Stalkers, move towards the main. Medivac ducks out of range, only temporarily. No refocus on this by Yongwa because he's hey. busy, but the rest of the army retreating to come back home. Snipes off the one Medivac. Journey's uh, looking, looking pretty good. Even he is saves pretty good. that one drop. I oh, kills the probe he had over here, trying to put down a pylon so the wood mine's getting more job done. Oh, the glasses! Snap. Oh god. What am I using some nice damage done? Oh, top god. top left, still a couple <laughs> drops, but I mean or a couple units in this drop. Gets cleaned up. Uh observer finding the front lines, but Journey's on four freaking bases. I've never seen Widowmine so effective against someone who wasn't going charge at Archon. No one does it anymore, right? Because charges get wrecked by Widowmines, but Journey's incorporating them against what is just Blink Stalker Colossus, and he's doing so much damage with them. Well, I think one of the scary things for a protest player at this point is just he doesn't have that third base up. His probe count is still low. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of energy for Chrono Boost, but what good is that if you're not building any probes? In fact, he's producing nothing right now, so... I mean, is he just trying to gear up for a very, very salty all-in? <laughs> I hate to phrase it like that, but I mean, he's not building probes. He's not trying to get third. I think he's just going to go for one last Harada to try and end the game on 2-2 two -two upgrades. But Journey's got his 2-2. Two -two. Journey's got Stim. He's producing four Vikings at a time. Hell, there's going to be ghosts after this. I don't think Yongwa's going to be able to break him. Oh, an Observer, please. Where's this Observer? He's, I mean, got, he, it. Wait, he's got it. Wait. Oh, he does. Oh, he has two. Okay, good. All right, in the front. He's like, what am so I doing many Marauders here, too. I mean... Everything in Yangwa's army currently is susceptible to the Marauders. Not to mention the Vikings on top of this. In full retreat back to a pylon that's not complete. This is not looking good for a Protoss player. First Colossus falls, second Colossus falls. Go down like nobody's business. Just stalkers remaining, not gonna cut a journey. With a 170 supply to 30 supply advantage, is gonna win game number two. GG is called. Whew.